The Next Secret Layers proceeds help charity, and it's full of staples. If you need help looking for more reasons to buy this secret layer, then stay tuned. Yo, it's Chad welcoming you to the Bomb Secret Layers. In this episode, I'm going to review the Extra Life 2020 secret layer and why you might want it for your collection. If this is your first video, I make content to blow up the Magic the Gathering Oathbreaker community. And if you're entertained by this type of content, then support the channel by like, sharing, and subscribing, and turning on notifications so you know when I make a new episode for you. My review of this product is based on the flavor, playability, and value of these newly reprinted cards and how they may find a use in your collection. First, let's do some background information on this product. This layer is one in a multi-pronged attempt by Wizards of the Coast to help raise funds this year for Seattle's Children's Hospital. The first prong is the secret layer. It will have four unique foil art cards that display art and quotes that specifically focus on family and children. Two, Ultra Pro will be releasing a set of playmats displaying the art featured on these secret layer drop cards and will also be giving a portion of their proceeds to charity. Three, there will be a series of online auctions of full uncut sheets of cards on eBay. Four, Wizards will be hosting many Twitch stream events and will also be providing streamer support where streamers can give code to help support the charity. There will also be arena sleeves with the Extra Life logo. And finally, special Extra Life logo merchandise will be available only in the MTG Pro Store. Now let's take a peek at these heartwarming alternate art cards one by one together. First, we have Teferi's Protection. For two and a white, it's an instant. Until your next turn, your life total can't be changed and you gain protection from everything. All permanents you control phase out and you exile Teferi's Protection. This card sees a lot of play and decks it generally can save your entire board and team and as a signature spell it's a great way to protect your plan the art for this card is actually fairly beautiful it's a shot of teferi playing with his young daughter and the quote on the card is i've walked a hundred worlds but you are my universe so all of that nails home the flavor playability and value pretty cleanly the next card we have is amulet of vigor for one color but it says whenever a permanent enters the battlefield under your control you may untap it this is great for getting around many stacks or other strategies that could cause you problems or even just getting a little bit of a lead. And the quote is, Angels guide me while I wake and I will watch for evil's creep. Angels guard me while I dream and I will rest in peaceful sleep. And that's supposed to be the amulet's inscription. The art on this card shows a child maybe wearing the amulet. It doesn't tell you where it comes from, how it's related to family or anything, just that there's a kid in the card. And the quote doesn't specifically, I feel like, have a strong tie. I don't really feel like this one hits the flavor quite as hard as the first card. Next, we have Collected Company, an instant for three and a green. It lets us look at the top six cards of our library, put up to two creature cards with converted mana cost three or less among them onto the battlefield and put the rest on the bottom of our library in any order. This card, I think, actually kind of hits flavor pretty good. Playability, it's good, especially for small, you know, more weenie strategies. Flavor, it shows a Johnny um, playing with some young uh, lion cubs, which I think really hits the family. And the idea that you're getting to pull some smaller creatures off the top of your deck, I feel also kind of does it. I do wish this card had a quote, so that's why it also doesn't quite fully hit the flavor for me. Next, we have Consecrated Sphinx for four and two blue. It's a flying four six. Whenever an opponent draws a card, we get to draw two, which is an amazing value. This card is heavily played in EDH and Oathbreaker. It is just as good because we're playing in a multiple opponent format. The art on the card shows a sphinx with children tending to it. It doesn't feel like a family scene. It feels more like the children or people around the sphinx are caretakers taking care of it. And the quote is, I can only glimpse the future. These little ones will bring it about. That to me is, is a pretty strong state. So this is a limited print run product that is specifically targeted for a children's charity. And with that as a guideline, all these cards for me earn about an 8 out of 10 in flavor. The quotes for the most part are on point, but the art didn't always land for me. Or it didn't always track with maybe the card's ability as to how it would be flavorful. But that may not be the point. The point of these cards might be their value and playability. Because the playability and value of these cards is very high. These cards are highly used and sought after for many formats, and they will easily find 
to home in your collection, so I'd say about a 9 out of 10 for playability. Now on that value side, it is tough for me to figure out value for secret layers, but in this case it is fairly clear. The cards in this secret layer are often valued at or near $97 for, you know, a set of all four of them on TCG Player. And the secret layer costs 60 bucks with 30 going to charity, so you could spend a lot more and not support a children's charity, or you could spend less and help support it. Now, now, I am not blind, and I do know that there has been some controversy surrounding this secret layer. And if you don't like how WotC is splitting the money with the charity, then look at the other options, one of which is buying a playmat. If you buy a playmat from Alterport Pro, $16 of the $21 cost goes to the charity. So if you want to give more, you can do that. Or you can always give directly to the charity using the link I've put in the description below. Now that I've told you how I feel about this secret layer, what do you think? I really want to know how you feel in the comments below. If you're going to be shopping, you can support the channel by using the TCG Player, Ink Gaming, or Signature Spell Bomb Store link in the description. And if you're interested in the Oathbreaker format, then check out this playlist here. Thanks for watching, and I want to remind you to be like a planeswalker and show your loyalty by subscribing to the channel. I can't make these videos without you, and I wouldn't. Thanks again, and have a great day.